you look closely, you can see Owen. I don't know, right there on my shoulder. Look at him. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Christine from Sewing in the City and this week I'm back with a really easy project that can add a little bit of pizzazz to your dining table. So we're going to be making a cloth napkins, um, really focusing in on this super cool mitered corner technique that um, gives us these beautiful miters. Um, and this is such a great project for wintertime sewing because it does take quite a bit of ironing. So um, a lot of the pre-work that we do before we even sew is done at the ironing board. And so it's really nice if you are cold, you can spend a little bit of time with your iron getting these gorgeous mitered corners. So be sure to stay to the end because I'm gonna show you a couple different ways I like to fold my cloth napkins. Nothing fancy like ducks or swans or anything like that. Really just simple, elegant ways you can fold your napkins um, to set your dinner table. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, first things first, let's talk about fabric. So I, in this example, I'm gonna be using this really gorgeous um, Dashwood Studio Cotton Poplin. Um, it has a really nice soft hand um, and just feels like would make a good napkin. I've also used just like this um, cotton poplin that I did some painting design on. Um, so I think cotton poplin is really a beautiful fabric. Um, you could do linen, you could do any scraps, large scraps that you have in your stash. So for the size, um, I have experimented with a couple different sizes. So this one is just a little bit smaller. This one is a 16 inch finished square. And I find that this is the, um, this is the size I like. They're nice, um, you know, fits nicely on your lap. It's not overly large, um, like some, you know, maybe restaurant napkins might be. I feel like this is a really nice practical size. Um, for home and this is finished 16 inches. So to get the, um, basically all you need to do is add two inches to either side of the finished size that you'd like. So to get a 16 inch finished napkin, I'm gonna cut an 18 inch square. If you wanted a finished 15 inch napkin, you'd cut a 17 inch square. I think that those are both great dimensions and make a really practical, useful napkin. And I would recommend taking your rotary cutter if you have one and mat and ruler. And first just start by making a nice clean edge, clean square piece of fabric or rectangle in my case, cause I'm gonna be making a little towel, but um, give yourself a nice clean um, exact square edges. So now I've taken my, my fabric, whether you do a square, um, for your napkins or you do a rectangle like I'm doing for a little towel. Um, first, I'm just kind of pressing out any of the, um, you know, like the full lines of my, um, my fabric. I've got some creases here. So I'm just gonna press those out, give this a nice press, and then start to work my way around the edges, folding under, folding up, a half of an inch, so half of an inch to the wrong side. You can definitely use a measuring device here. I kind of like to eyeball it. Um, if you feel confident with eyeballing your measures, like go ahead. Like this isn't doesn't have to be like perfectly exact. And I find that it's just a little bit more enjoyable if I don't necessarily have to have all the contraptions um, and measuring devices. So I'm just going to continue. See on this corner, I've, um, I'm just going to fold right over like that. So I'm going to do that on all my edges. Give it a little steam. Okay, so I have all four corners pressed up about a half of an inch, and I just wanted to show you a closer up of how I've actually um, folded these. So folded this pressed, and then just folded this end right up over. So, you know, nothing fancy. So now I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I told you there was a lot of ironing. So I'm just gonna go around and just press up, basically just press along 
um, another half of an inch up on all the edges and I'm going to do the corners just the same. So fold in one and then just fold the other right on over. Okay, so I have all my sides double pressed in, folded over once and folded over again. This is how my corners look. They're, you know, they're definitely not neat yet. Um, they've just been massively folded. So now we're gonna do our last ironing step. So here is my folded corner. I'm going to take it back one step. So just where our first fold. And what I'm gonna do is just fold this corner in right at that point, like right where the um, fabrics, the outer edge forms a square there. I'm gonna fold that right over. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be like perfectly exact. You can definitely use um, your measuring device. This should be one inch and this will be an inch as well. Um, so we want to give that fold a press so I'm just going to press that in, give it a little steam, and then I'll just take my water soluble marker. This is, um, you know, it, it uh, disappears. And just go in and mark, actually this probably, well, yeah, it works. I'm just gonna mark a line where I just pressed. So just kind of mark that line in. Okay, so now what we do is, I'm gonna do this slow, I'll do it a couple times is we're just gonna fold it like that. And see that line, that's where we're gonna sew. And we're gonna sew through both layers. So let's do that again. So, one fold, got my line there. I just fold it like this and match up these edges there. Um, so they are straight, so make sure it's you know perpendicular. These edges are matched. And then this edge looks like that from this side and that from that side. And I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew from here to there. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay, so I am back in my machine. And one thing I wanted to mention, I went ahead and did my, my folds on all four of my corners. So we're all ready to go. I'm gonna do all these at once. So just do my same fold there, fold that together, and I'm gonna sew right along this line. And I'm gonna try to do a back stitch. Um, I will do one at the start and the stop. Just have a regular straight stitch here, back stitch, and do another back stitch there. Alrighty. And then we can just test this before I trim you just want to make sure that you did it right. So we turn that right side out and there you go. That's the, the mitered corner. So I'm going to go and finish the other four corners that I've got here, the other three corners, and then give these a trim. Okay, so I've got all my corners sewn and now what I'm going to do is just trim them so we can get a nice neat fold. Um, so I just take um, I just take my trimmers and I trim just about, you know, leaving maybe a quarter inch, eighth of an inch there. I just trim, trim any of my strings, like it doesn't have to be super neat. And then I flip it inside. And then I have this little point, uh, point turner. You could use, um, I mean, you could use any pointer. You could even use like a safety pin to kind of pull out that, um, that corner, but I just get it nice and neat. And then, the last thing we need to do, we can we can press this before we do it, or I don't even know if I'm going to. They're pretty nice. Um, and then I'm just gonna top stitch right along the whole edge of the napkin, and then we're done. So um, I'm gonna keep trimming my corners. Just do like, doop, kind of trim my threads. And this is, it's kind of addicting because it feels like magic. And you get these beautiful points um, it's, it feels so good. It's so satisfying to turn them inside out. So I'm going to finish trimming these and then I'll do my top stitching and I'll show you the final result. Okay, there we go. Beautiful mitered corners. Now I have, um, my top stitching 
So this is a little bit bigger than a napkin, um, but I'm gonna use this as a tea towel for just, um, you know, hang it over my stove. It's kind of hard to see, um, but this is gonna be a tea towel. So that's the quick and easy way to get perfect mitered corners. Okay, now that we have our napkin sewn up, let's take a look at how we can really simply and elegantly fold our napkins on our place settings. So first thing you wanna do, just take your napkin. I'm gonna fold it into a square. So first one fold and then one fold again. So you have a nice square. So then what you wanna do is you're going to take one square edge. So these are my, um, you know, my folds. And then I'm just gonna fold this in just about, so it's um, meeting the point there. And then I'm just gonna fold the same, do the same thing with the other side and kind of adjust it until it's even. And then I would just lay this, this side up right on the center of my plate. So it's a really simple, elegant way to give it a nice little shape, really quick to do, um, and gives you a nice, elegant look on your plate. The second version of this, if you want it a little bit sportier, is just to fold in, I don't know, you know, a chunk there, maybe two, three inches, however much you want, and then do your folds in. So kind of matching up this top end, it's kind of funny doing this backwards, um, and then just kind of line these up until this point is centered. I'm just a little off there. Um, and then I would lay this right on my plate. So this is a little bit of a more of a petite way. Um, I think it's a little bit more sporty and I would just lay this right in the center of my plate. Then the last way I think works really well with um, you know this style. So maybe you have a bigger printed napkin and you don't wanna do kind of the angular fold. You can very simply just fold your napkin in half and then fold it again into a square and then just fold it again and have your um, a really nice rectangular fold and just set this next to the side of your plate and you could put um, you know your utensils on top of it so this would just sit beside your plate and I think it's a really lovely way to kind of just let the napkin shine but not necessarily be the focal point on the middle of your plate so those are three really easy ways that you can fold your napkins um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you enjoy doing your mitered corners. If you liked this video, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to not miss any other videos. All right, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.